Until now, we've seen Chinese automakers, particularly BYD, making announcements regarding new EV batteries. However, many people didn't show interest because they didn't trust the reliability of those batteries. Some even hate Chinese electric vehicles and talk about their cons only. But everything is about to change because Toyota is stepping into the game with a plan to start a new EV battery plant in Japan. Toyota made this decision because they knew the potential of EVs and the high demand for superior quality EV batteries. So what is this Japanese giant up to? Before we get onto it, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon because our next goal is to hit the 5,000 subscribers mark. With that said, let's dive in. According to a report by the Japanese newspaper Nikkei, Toyota Motor is setting its eye on the beautiful island of Kyushu, often called Silicon Island, to construct a new EV battery plant for its Lexus brand. Kyushu is a vital hub for the automotive and semiconductor industries. Earlier this year, the island welcomed a major addition to its industrial landscape when TSMC, the world's largest chip maker from Taiwan, inaugurated a factory in Kikuyu, located in Kumamoto Prefecture. This development strengthens the area's ability to make things and helps meet the rising need for advanced technology and parts that are crucial for making electric vehicles. This strategic move to choosing Kyushu and constructing a new EV battery plant is part of Toyota's plans to enhance its electric vehicle supply chain across Asia. The new facility will play a crucial role by supplying high-quality batteries for Lexus vehicles produced at the nearby Miata plant, which is located about 25 miles or 40 kilometers away. Impressively, the Miata plant is capable of building up to 430,000 vehicles each year, with around 90% of these vehicles destined for markets beyond Japan. That's a great opportunity for Toyota to strengthen its presence in the growing EV market. But why did Toyota decide to jump into making EV batteries? For a long time, Toyota has been one of the slower players in the global shift towards EVs. But the tide is turning. With the rapid rise of Chinese automakers like BYD, the Japanese giant realized that it needed to step up its game. For example, BYD launched its EV, the Addo 3, and now has three different models becoming popular in Japan, a country that has traditionally been Toyota's stronghold. BYD's SEAL EV is taking direct aim at competitors like the Tesla Model 3, starting at about $5,028 million, or roughly $33,100. According to the Japan Automobile Importers Association, imports of Chinese EVs accounted for nearly 10% of all cars shipped to Japan in the first half of 2024. This is a big challenge in a market where domestic automakers, including Toyota, make up a dominant force. Most of the important models are luxury European vehicles, such as BMW and Mercedes. However, BYD's success has sparked notable change, leading to a staggering 184% increase in passenger car imports year on year. In response, Toyota is establishing this new EV battery plant in Kyushu, aiming to reclaim its position and beat BYD in the EV race. But whether that will be possible is yet another question. Here's what a spokesperson for Toyota said. Toyota has been making various efforts to increase its production capacity of batteries for BEVs. We are aware that there have been such reports, but we have not made any public announcement regarding such projects. Now, this isn't the first time we're seeing Toyota planning to grow in the EV market. Back in September 2022, Toyota revealed plans to invest a staggering 730 billion yen, or $5.2 billion, at various sites in Japan and the United States. This investment was aimed at ramping up EV battery production, with the enhanced output expected to become available sometime between 2024 and 2026. As for the current plan, Toyota has set its sights on investing a total of $32 billion in electric vehicle manufacturing by 2030. The goal is to sell a combined total of 3.5 million EVs each year across both the Toyota and Lexus brands. In 2023, the company managed to sell 104,000 EVs, but with determination to meet the increasing demand, they aim to boost that number to an impressive 600,000 by 2025. So, when will the construction begin? The timeline and specific plans for the construction of Toyota's new EV battery plant will be determined shortly. Additionally, there is potential financial support on the horizon, as Japan's Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry might provide a subsidy to Toyota for this facility under the Economic Security Promotion Act. 
This assistance could play a key role in accelerating the project's development and further improving Toyota's position in the competitive EV market. The plant will be operated by Prime Earth EV Energy, a subsidiary of Toyota that focuses on the production of batteries for hybrid vehicles, plug-in hybrids, and fully electric cars. This company was established in 1996 as a joint venture between Toyota and Panasonic under a different name. Since 2010, Toyota has owned 80.5% of Prime Earth EV Energy, and as of March this year, Toyota acquired the remaining 19.5% of shares from Panasonic, making it a wholly owned subsidiary. To reflect this new ownership, the company is set to change its name to Toyota Battery on October 1st, and recently introduced a new brand logo. The plans are relatively new, so we don't have a lot of information yet, like specific details on the technology that will be utilized at the new EV battery plant. However, considering Toyota's established track record and reputation, we can anticipate that the facility will focus on producing advanced battery systems that are actually worth it. So make sure to subscribe to our channel because we'll upload another video as soon as we get more information on Toyota's new EV battery plant in Japan. Till then, let us know in the comments what you think about Toyota's plans. Do you believe Toyota can compete with BYD and become the number one in the EV market? Leave a like if you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Goodbye.